fifth cue, Kansetsu Waza. This technique is called Ude Garami. Uh, we'll demonstrate the basic ground version of this technique. Uh, we can also do it from a standing position. So we'll start basically in a Yoko Shio Gatame type position with my one knee in the armpit and one knee in the hip. Instead of coming down with the pin like we did for the pin, I'm going to grab his arm uh, in this manner. Uh, my hands can be either way with the lock varying depending on how I have my hands. So if I have my left hand here, I'm going to have the bent arm lock. I'm going to reinforce my hand on my wrist, arch my wrists, and bring this toward his hip. So again, this one is going to be the bent arm lock. I draw that toward his hip. My hands are switched. I can also do this, but then it will be a straight arm lock. So here, this will be the bent version, and, and I want to keep my um, body weight on top of him to help control where he can move his body. Uh, so this is the bent version, and then this is the straight version with my hands uh, switched. Same grip though for the Seo Otoshi, the Rucho. Turn him here, dip, and we have Ude Garami, a standing version. Control the elbow, come down here, get my lock here, and then I can take him down if I wanted to. Kansetsu Waza, Marote Dori, Kote Maki. From this position, going to bend in, get this way, roll over the arm, and down. And again, again here, try to avoid grabbing the wrist, go over and into the center instead. Here, and that way. Now I actually can go either direction. If I go this way, then it becomes that version. Here, over, get in, and roll in towards your own center. 